Hey guys, Bailey Dolan here, and today we're going to be talking about some Cars 3, yo. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so, for Cars 3, wonderful movie. I ch checked it out last night. It was a wonderful movie. I loved watching it. Um, hmm. Alright, so the movie opens with McQueen and his friends racing. McQueen r wins his... One of his friends, I forgot his friend's name, um, wins a couple races, McQueen wins a couple races, then I hear we cut to a thing about Chick Hicks. Yes, he does reappear in this movie. Um, with this other woman vehicle. They talk about the next gen racers. And then here's where Jackson Storm comes in for the win. Jackson Storm at the last second goes past Lightning and then at, after the race well for people who have already seen it Storm says Oh, it's a pleasure to beat you, oh, oh, it's time for retirement, and then here we go on to where McQueen goes to talk to his friend, but the number was given to a next gen racer, so, that's always great, isn't it? Um, yeah, most definitely. But yeah, so, and then McQueen, it, this is the next race, he's trying to beat Jackson Storm, Jackson Storm passes him, McQueen let him inside of his head, so then therefore McQueen is possibly going to fail. So, eventually, yes, you do come to the crash scene that everybody has been expecting since the trailer first came out. So, yes, Jackson and Jackson Storm and then two other racers, and I think Danny is one of them. Yeah, there's a new racer called Danny. Um, yeah. They pass him. And then Lightning is just there. Light Lightning starts slowing down. Racers keep passing him. Then he speeds up to try and catch up with Storm. He's pushing himself farther than he should be. And then the announcer's like, oh, McQueen's fading, fading fast. And then McQueen slams into the wall. Crashing, a busted tire hits the wall, starts um, spinning, goes up into the air, starts spinning, then his spin turns into a flip. He flips multiple times. And then it's a scrape, well, it's a flip, then scrape, and then a bigger flip. And then he officially stops. For that second, we've already seen Sally gasp. Her, Mater, Guido, and Luigi, they race out there along with a fire truck and ambulance and reporters. So then, the movie cuts to four months later. And here's where we see a Lightning, still with his 95 logo. Will be that until the day he's gone but he has no paint he's just gray and has the number 95 
But still. Um, yeah. And then he watches the clips of Doc. And Doc's crash. Then, eventually, McQueen is ready to get back out there and start training because Mater's encouraging him to. And then he goes to the Rusty's training facility. Which is amazing. I never thought they could do something as great as what I saw. But they did it. And they amazed me. But... McQueen gets a new sponsor in the Rusty's guys they leave they go for retirement they tell McQueen their goodbyes and they leave and then reporters start getting pictures of them so then here you have um, Sterling his um, new sponsor. Then he introduces him to Cruz Ramirez, which is a phenomenal character in my opinion. I think this should have been the sequel that Cars 2 could have been. This could have been the sequel. McQueen's high in his game and yeah. Oh look, a trailer for it now. Oh well. Well, I think it was a good movie. Um, but still. Then we meet Cruz Ramirez. She she acts like she doesn't see McQueen when she really does. And then Sterling shows McQueen around the area. Bef well, this is before he meets Sterling. So. And then. Like, okay, so Ramirez. Eventually. Cruz starts to teach McQueen about racing. Then he tries to use the simu a simulator. He wrecks the simulator. They gotta fix the simulator now. Alright, so, and then that's when McQueen starts practicing on the beach with Cruz. Cruz like is trying to be a racer and all she wants to be a racer then eventually they go to Thunder Hollow they win after a very huge encounter of with Miss Ritter a school bus and oh god McQueen got revealed McQueen's secret identity was revealed at top at Thunder Hollow. Then, when, and then when they are done, they have the trophy, the McQueen breaks it, and Cruz gets mad, tells Mac to pull over, she leaves, and then that's where we cut off for the night when Cruz is on her way back to the Rusty's uh, training facility, and then we have and then we have a scene where lightning's talking to Mater, Guido and Luigi are asleep, McQueen's talking to Mater, Mater tells him that he needs to find Doc's crew chief in a way, that's, I mean he doesn't say it exactly how it was explained, but in a way, and Yes, he was. So eventually, yes, he did. At one point. Okay, then when he's on his way to Thomasville, he stops to find Cruz. He finds Cruz and And he convinces Cruz to come with, come to Thomasville with him. So they go to Thomasville. That's where they meet Smokey, Doc's old crew chief. And 
So yeah, Doc Hot Ten and all was like, oh hey, I'm jump over this racer and be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna beat his butt. Yeah, he did. He won the race. He beat the rookie, and and here's where we come to the speedway. This is where McQueen races Cruz. Guido turns Cruz into this all good racer. And in a sense, she's good. She maxes out um Jackson's top speed in the end and she wins. Cause she does a flip. Over him like Doc Hudson. So, in a sense, this was a great movie. I loved it. In the end, okay, so we come to the last race, the Florida 500. McQueen starts out the race and Cruz. And uh, Cruz finishes it, wins, cause, and then... Jackson Storm tries to get inside of her head, but instead she gets inside of his head and scares him. Therefore, that makes him scared and he doesn't want to lose. So in a sense, Cruz is probably the MVP in this. Cruz, was, did, Cruz did a pretty good job of winning the race, and this was just a great movie overall. In the end... McQueen becomes the fabulous, the fabulous McQueen. So yeah, in a sense, um, McQueen becomes, um, decides to keep racing after Sterling had made a deal that he would either retire if he didn't win. Be he ends up winning, so he gets to keep racing. And so, in the end. McQueen becomes Cruz Ramirez's crew chief. He's the fabulous McQueen now. And he thinks that Cruz deserves Doc's number, which is 51. And she is Cruz Ramirez. Cruz Ramirez is now a racer. I don't know how many races she's won, but she did beat Jackson Storm, so she did get a piston cup. So yeah, it was glad to see that McQueen takes a new turn in the end of the movie. Um, I I got to see the first movie in theater, saw the second movie on DVD. Oh god, the second movie. The characters were okay. Storyline sucked. Alright. So to wrap it up, I think Cars 3 is a great movie to see. I definitely recommend it. You will not be disappointed. Unless if you think Cars 2 was good, then you just are a horrible person. But still. So, this is MCG Thomas number 167, signing out, and I'll see you guys next time.